Uh, question number seven. Using oxidation numbers numbers of chlorine, explain why the following is a redox. Uh, so if you look at the equation, you you have hypochlorite, which is aqueous. We have uh, HCl, which is aqueous, which gives chlorine and water. So we can say the hypochlorite. Uh, so for hypochlorite. Uh, we read the number of oxidation BX for chlorine BX. So we have one uh, positive for hydrogen. You add uh, X for chlorine and you add 3 multiplied by minus 2 for oxygen because we have 3 oxygen. Uh, this is equal to 0. Uh, so if you multiply here, you find uh, x is equal to this will be 6 take it to the other side become positive 6 my uh, positive 1 becomes minus so x is equal to 5 for HCl hydrochloric acid uh, we have a uh, positive 1 for hydrogen uh, plus x is equal to 0 so here you find x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to minus 1. For chlorine, the oxidation x is equal to 0. So we can say in uh, hypochlorite, uh, we have oxidation. Oxidation uh, number of chlorine this is a uh, chlorine uh, changes from positive 5 to 0 from positive 5 to uh, 0 so this is we can we can say this is a reduction a reduction uh, then we have uh, in HCl oxidation number of chlorine that is oxidation number of chlorine changes to oxidation number of chlorine uh, changes from minus 1 to 0 from minus 1 to 0 so this is we can say this is oxidation uh, so that is how you show uh, or explain uh, that this is a redox reaction and you get two marks part b that is question number 7b uh, use the following standard reduction potentials uh, to answer questions that follows. So we are given half cell reactions here. Uh, we have EV. Uh, so we have uh, eight of them, eight half cells. So we have uh, Roman number one. The half cells one and two are combined to form an electrochemical cell. Uh, so this is one and two. Write an equation for the cell reaction. Uh, so we have one and two, uh, which is uh, we are supposed to write the equation. So we can say the most react, uh, the most positive is the oxide, uh, oxi uh, oxidizing, oxidizing agent. The oxidizing agent uh, gains electrons. So you can see in uh, reaction two, it is gaining. So this equation will remain as it is because it is gaining electrons uh, so we have a uh, read for oxide we have sulfate ions we have uh, hydrogen ions gain electrons uh, such that we have uh, the read sulfate uh, plus uh, water uh, so the what you do is you reverse the first reaction you reverse the first reaction and combine the two so when you reverse this uh, combine with this this is the equation that you come up with so we have read four oxide 
which is solid and then you have plus two sulfate ions and then we have uh, plus hydrogen ions uh, plus lead which is solid uh, this is aqueous uh, this is aqueous too uh, so this will be able to give you uh, red sulfate uh, plus water this is solid and you, you have uh, H2O which is liquid so that is the equation for the cell reaction part 2 calculate the EMF so to calculate the EMF uh, reverse the first reaction it will be positive this is the first reaction so when you reverse it will be positive uh, and then you add them or you can use the formula and say uh, a cell is equals to a reduction uh, minus a uh, oxidation oxidation Uh, so this is oxidation. So what you have is uh, we say this is equals to uh, this is 1.69 1.69 and uh, when you reverse this it means you have a negative negative uh, 0 0.36 uh, so this will give us uh, when you add the two this will change positive negative and negative will be positive so we have positive 2.5 2.05 uh, volts so that's how you calculate uh, the emf of the cell let's go to the next part part two we are told do a label diagram for the electrochemical cell formed using half cells uh, three and four so this is a uh, these are the uh, three and four so what we can do is uh, we can draw the electrochemical cell uh, we start by drawing the troughs the beakers uh, so we have another one here uh, then we have the anode the cathode here uh, then we have the connection here with a voltage here joining the cathode uh, from there this is touching this one uh, we have the salt bridge So that is a salt bridge. Uh, so from there, we have the iron in aqueous form. So this is F iron uh, ions. Uh, here we have uh, lead. 
Uh, here we have a salt bridge. We have salt bridge. This is zinc. Solid. And this is a. Uh, we have uh, a zinc ions. So we can put the zinc ion in this solution. And here we have the iron ions. So by drawing something like that and uh, labeling uh, the uh, the anode and the cathode, then you should be able to get the three marks. Part three: State and explain the observations made when a few drops of acidified uh, potassium manganese seven are added to hydrogen uh, peroxide. Uh, so potassium manganese seven is purple in color and uh, when it is added to hydrogen peroxide it will be colorless or it will be decolorized so you can say potassium manganate 7 uh, ch uh, changes uh, from purple to colorless to colorless uh, again we have a, a, a gas is produced so we can say a fafa fence fences of of a colorless gas colorless gas we can say gas like that so potassium permanganate oxide hydrogen uh, peroxide to water and oxygen uh, you can put it like this potassium manganate 7 oxidize hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide uh, hydrogen to water and oxygen gas to water and oxygen gas So the oxygen gas is the one that that is being produced. So we have uh, we can also say uh, the manganese. We can also say the manganese the manganese seven uh, ions that is uh, M N. O for ions um, are, are reduced to manganese are reduced reduced to manganese manganese to ions uh, or you can say M N two plus. So that's how you answer that. Uh, the next question we are told: coating iron with the zinc is more effective way of corrosion preventing of uh, corrosion prevention than coating it with copper. And we are supposed to explain. So we say that zinc is more reactive than iron. Uh, zinc is more reactive than iron 
hence I can react with agents with agents of rusting agents of rusting and like copper and like copper that is less reactive than iron that is less reactive than iron than iron so that is why coating iron with zinc is more effective way of corrosion prevention than coating it with copper and that brings us to the end of that question and end of the paper